I just videotaped so much and I wasn't even videotaping. How's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what sold videos like this, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff. So if that's something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. I do post multiple times a week, Sundays and Wednesdays, and sometimes Fridays. I am trying to put out a Friday video this week, so if you've been missing them, Hopefully it goes well and hopefully there's a new Friday video. Another thing is on my little like thumbnail picture when you click on my video, um, as you can tell, I am back to selling on Mercari. I used to sell on Mercari. I used to try and like post like everything to both Poshmark and Mercari, but it was just way too overwhelming and way too hard to remember to delete things off of multiple platforms. So I am slowly trying to get my listings back onto Mercari. I'm not trying to relist everything to both platforms. Like that's just not in the cards for me right now. I still don't have like the mental capacity <laughs> to uh, function fully onto platforms. Like I do sell on eBay, but I really have like less than 10 listings on there at a time. So yeah, I am back and I did have one sale, which is great because I only started relisting things a few days ago. So can't complain about that. Um, I did cross out thread up on my thing because I didn't think I was gonna have any thread up sales, but I did end up having just one. So I'll talk about that in the video. This week, I also did have a lot of small sales again. So my net profit and my gross profit wasn't like the highest ever, but I am just trying to accept offers, especially on things that came from mystery boxes or the bins, as long as I'm making a profit, I'm totally fine accepting offers and moving out old inventory, which I feel like I've been doing a lot of um, this month, which is great. I hope to continue to do that. I need to make room for all my thread up reclaims that I have finally been posting, putting it back in my closet. I'm dripping on stuff. These are the sales pretty much from the last full week of January. I cannot believe it is over. I don't know where this month has gone. I can't believe it's almost February. And sadly, we are still in this pandemic. And hopefully we don't go another year <laughs> in this pandemic because it's rough. <laughs> yeah, it's just been really hard. Every time I feel like I'm used to it and I'm over it, I just hit another low where I like blame things in my life that like my job, like it's my job that's making me sad. It's the fact that I can't be reselling more that's making me sad. And it's like, no, it's just, it's quarantine. It's not being able to like go and relax outside of your house. I don't really want to go on a hike, though I did go on a hike. If you've ever been to Aquila Falls in your Oregon, Portland area, I went there. It was gorgeous, beautiful on a Thursday. No one else was there amazing um but yeah i'm gonna stop blabbing um yeah last full week of january i took a lot of offers this week it is what it is i'm glad to get my stuff moving so the first sale i had on sunday the 24th was these teos denim sneakers these i got in a thread up shoe rescue box not the one i just filmed but the one before that i heard from you guys in the comments that this brand actually does really well for you guys and i definitely did get a lot of interest in these but they were in a kind of rough condition. I didn't clean them up the best because I do not like cleaning shoes. I will try, but it's never perfect. It never comes out how I want it to, and I get very easily frustrated. I would much rather go to town on a pair of leather boots with like polish and Wonder Bomb than like white sneakers with any sort of um, magic eraser because they just fall apart on me and I find it so annoying. <laughs> so I definitely need to get my hands. I think they have like um, Mr. Clean Eraser sheets. They're like wipes. Those seem more up my alley because I just used wet wipes on pretty much all the shoes I just cleaned yesterday. <laughs> anyway, these over 25 after fees. I made $20 on Poshmark. Next, I sold this Foot Joy quarter zip pullover. But Joy was something that I heard a while ago to be a good brand. I do think that like the original price on them is kind of high. They are kind of like an athletic brand, <laughs> but I haven't had the best luck with it. I've picked this up at the bins. I had it listed for like 40. Someone offered me 25, I accepted. Again, I made $20 on Poshmark. Then on Monday the 25th, I sold these Fabletic pink 
leggings. These are something that I've had in my closet for a while. I got them in a woman's rescue box, uh, the mixed clothing one from Thread Up. I love selling Fabletics leggings personally, but it has kind of slowed down. The market for Fabletics for me has slowed down. I list them at 30, I usually send an offer 27 and I usually could sell them pretty quickly. These sat for a little bit longer. Someone offered me 20 and I thought that was fine. I made $16. This next item are a pair of Lululemon's men's commission shorts. I didn't even film this haul yet. I think I'll probably have it out in the next week or two, but I went to Goodwill and I was trying to find spring and summer items. So of course I went through the shorts. No one else had, they are not priced up yet um, because it's still like pretty cold here in Portland. I found a couple of really cute shorts that I've actually already sold uh, that I will talk about. This is one of them. And they were in the women's section. I was just going through I saw the little logo. I was like, yes, I'm taking these. At first, I, I did think they were woman's shorts. I thought they were like a more modest, like golfer short. And then I get in the car and I'm looking for the size dot and it's a 31. I'm like, these are men's. I didn't even notice because the men's Lululemon logo is different. I'll try and pop up a picture. Um, it was kind of hard to tell on my piece that it was the men's logo because it was like embroidered but super happy. These were still for sale on their website. They sold the same day I listed them. Um, I had them listed at 56, but someone offered me 48 and I was like, yes, I'll take that. I made 38, 40 after fees on Poshmark and I only paid 7.99 for them. I was so happy that day. All right, and then on Tuesday, I sold these American Eagle Dark Wash size zero short jeans. I picked these up in Connecticut if you saw that haul. I don't think I paid too much for them, but I talked about this in my last video. My American Eagle criteria for picking up jeans is very simple. I will pick up any pair of jeans if it's a good price, which is usually like $5 and under, if it's new label. So it just says American Eagle, not American Eagle Outfitters, nothing's in cursive, nice bold font. I will pick them up zero double zero short long anything i'll pick it up if they're not new label i will pick them up if they're heavily distressed or some other type of like modern style so these did sell they sold for 27 i made 1948 after fees on poshmark and again i think i paid less than five dollars for those jeans then i sold this vintage ems which is eastern mountain state i think <laughs> sweater at first I thought it was just a vintage label that didn't stand for anything but East Mountain State I'll put it on the screen is like a athletic wear brand that's still around uh, it was really cute well I did have a lot of attention on this throughout the winter but didn't sell someone offered me 20 I accepted I made $16 and that's something that I picked up at the bins and then I sold these American Eagle high-rise distress double zero short jeans this is an example of a older label but heavily distressed i got these at the bins i will pick these up all all day every day <laughs> um and double zero short like that's technically a hard size to sell but everyone knows like everyone like i'd say my age a little bit older a little bit younger knows that american eagle makes really high quality jeans for a very affordable price so they sold for 23 after fees. I made $16.28. And then I sold this vintage Nike jacket dress. This I picked up at the bins. I didn't know it was vintage. I did like a little bit of research and all I could find was another one that was listed that said it was from the 70s. I don't know how much I believed that, but I, I at least knew it was older style, a vintage. <laughs> Um, I thought it was really cute. It was in excellent condition for being white. There were a few flaws, but I noted them all. I ended up selling for 40 bucks. I made 29.88 on Poshmark after fees. And then I'm so happy. I sold these Sam Edelman Espadrille sneakers that I've had for such a long time. These have been sitting in my closet for probably near a year. These are the first Sam Edelman's I picked up and there's nothing wrong with the style. There's nothing wrong with the shoe. The problem is for whatever reason, I decided to buy a five and a half sized shoe, which I almost actually did the other day. I saw a pair of Sorrells at Plato's Closet that I almost bought, but they were five and a half and I had to talk myself down from those. But these finally sold. I was very excited. 
Um, they sold for $31 and after fees I made $22.68 and I think I paid like hopefully only like $10 for them. But they sold and I'm happy. Alright, and then on Wednesday the 27th I sold this Roxy Stars and Stripes tank top. This is something, if you remember, my fiance sister donated to me way back around Thanksgiving time. So it was free to me. I am, I sort of like separated her stuff into like sweatshirts and stuff right away that I was gonna list. And now I'm finally getting to her like, she had a lot of tank tops. So tank tops and summer pieces that I'm now just getting to that I'm gonna list now, now that I'm preparing for summer springtime. So this sold pretty quickly, sold for 10 after fees and made $7.05. I really like those beachy brands I've talked about before. Billabong does super well for me. Everything else is sort of okay, but it will sell it. It will get attention like Roxy, Volcom. Volcom I do better with the men's stuff. Uh, O'Neal, stuff like that. Then I sold this J. Crew khaki pant, green khaki pant. These I had a lot of interest in, but I was not sending out offers because I could not find these pants. I don't know what I did with them. Someone offered me like uh, $17 for them and I wanted to accept, but I had to dig through my inventory and luckily I found them. So I was able to sell them uh, and they did sell for 17 after fees I made 13 60. I think I probably could have got more for these if I knew where they were and I could have sent out offers. All right, and then I sold these two Fabletics reversible bras <laughs> these i listed together in just one post i when i don't get interest in something that i've like put together i will separate them i got super lazy and never separated these um they weren't getting as much attention as i thought they would but i did find them both at the bins i didn't know they were reversible until i got home and looked them up and neither of them had sizes so it's kind of hard to sell things like sports bras and bras that don't have sizes on them um, but I took measurements, listed it, they sold for 26 after fees, I made $20.80. Then on Thursday the 28th, I sold these Tory Birch flats, which should be exciting, right? No. I've had these, again, for about a year. This came in my first DIY designer box that I ever got from ThreadUp. I've only gotten two, so this is just my, from my first one that I got last summer. I had some rough items in there that still get attention, but haven't yet to sell. These were one of them. These were the most messed up pair of Tory Burch flats probably ever. There was no size. It was just all around a hard time. Uh, someone offered me 10 and I accepted. Made $7.05 after fees and that probably didn't even cover like how much I paid for it. Like I think each item was around 12, 13 bucks. But anyway, they sold and I'm happy that they've moved on. <laughs> Then I sold this Lena woven purse, again, something that I let go for super cheap. Someone offered me eight, I accepted, I made $5.05. This was something I just picked up at the bins again a while ago, thinking it was a really cute summer bag, but it was definitely like a no-name boutique brand. Then I sold this new tag, Sam Edelman bra, something I got in a Thread Up Fun box. It sold for $27. After fees, I made $19.48. Then I sold these Sorel Joanne short red rain boots. These were super cute. I had these listed around 80, but comps really were more in that 50, $60 range. So when someone offered me 55, I thought that that was a good deal. I did get these at Plato's Closet. They were having like a 50% off sale um, right before Christmas and I'd stopped in because I had my coupons from when I got their mystery boxes. Picked these up, they were 35, but then they were on sale for 1750. But I thought that was a good, a good enough profit. Um, and it was a pretty quick sale. I made $44 after fees. Then I sold this Pel Pelkrum by Ben Sherman, uh, like polo short sleeve. I still don't know too much about this brand, but it did come from my Jomar men's box, which is also the box that I'm currently waiting on from Jomar. I ordered it almost a month ago. So we'll see. I actually, it's so funny to me because I wait so long for my Jomar boxes and I don't want to rush them because last time I rushed them, I got a bunch of junk. So I don't want them to throw together a box for me. So I'm letting them take their time. Like, I'm just so used to waiting so long for these mystery boxes. And I literally just bought another shoe box from Thread Up Tuesday or something. And Tuesday morning, it shipped out that same day. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what Jamar's up to. Anyway, it sold for 20. Someone offered me 20. I accepted. I made $16 on Poshmark. 
Then I had my Mercari sale this week. It was these Madewell floral shorts. They sold for 30 bucks, someone offered me that. I don't think I put free shipping on this. When I used to sell a Mercari, I used to offer free shipping on everything. Now I'm just sort of offering free shipping on things that are like over $60, I wanna say. I have some sort of method, kind of. <laughs> but if it's like less than, I'm not going to pay for shipping because it's already not that expensive for something that weighs like less than a pound. Um, so after fees, I made 25.83. Then yesterday, on Saturday, I sold these American Eagle Grey Distress Jeans, something again that's been sitting in my closet. This is something that I didn't mention, but I will probably stay away from in the future, are colored jeans, and that includes gray. Black wash is one thing, but gray has been a hard sell for me. Um, these sat for a long time. I got them at the bins, if I didn't already say that. They sold for 20. After fees, I made $16. And I do think these were older label as well. Then I sold this new tag, Pink Floyd tea, again a donation from my fiance's sister, sold for $10, made $7.05. Then I sold these PacSun zipper detail moto pants, these are something that I got in those Play-Doh mystery boxes that I got way back when. During like Christmas time, they sold for $18, I made $12.28 after fees. Then I had my thread of sale that I did not think would happen, it happened like last thing last night. It was these American Eagle flare jeans. They sold for $37.99. I'll make $9.12 if they don't return it. And then the last thing I sold yesterday were these American Eagle distressed shorts. Sold for 20, which was what I had it listed at. Um, and I'll make $16 after fees. These I got the same time I got those Lululemon's men's shorts. So people are buying shorts. So you should be on the lookout. <laughs> so yeah, that was my sales for the week. Again, nothing absolutely outstanding, but very, very happy to be selling anything, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, um, my gross total this week was $565.04. Then after fees of $147.01, uh, my net profit was $418.03. So not bad, very happy again. I'm at that 400 and above. I'm totally fine staying at that level. Um, something else I did want to mention is I don't subtract my cost of goods when I'm doing these videos from my net earnings. That's why I like try to mention where I got the items so you have some sort of idea of how much I paid. One, because I'm lazy, I don't include it. <laughs> and two, because I always just kind of think of like my cost of goods as a sunk cost when I'm like talking about the present, like I already paid that, I'm not gonna get it back. This is now my profits. So when I'm doing like haul videos, I tell you how much I spend. And then when I'm doing these, I tell you how much I make, if that makes sense. I mean, obviously in my records, I will calculate it, but I usually do my records now about like at the end of the month. <laughs> All right, so my video cut out. I need to close out this video because I don't have any space on my phone to talk forever apparently. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. I hope your sales have been going well. I hope you've been clearing out your closet for that old inventory like I have. It actually feels really good. I, I don't always love not making like the biggest profit because obviously when you post something, you're like, wow, I can make 30 bucks on something I paid a dollar for, that's amazing. And then you end up selling it and making like 12 and you don't realize that that's still like 12 times as much as you spent on it. So I'm trying to be realistic. I'm trying to make sales. I don't want to be keeping all this stuff forever. All right, so yeah, let me know how you guys' weeks have been. Has it been good, bad, busy, slow, lots of offers. I've been getting a lot of offers and I usually never really get that much offers. But yeah, hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you're having good luck sourcing and selling and I will see you guys all in Wednesday's video. Bye.